Hello, this is Jacob from Mr. DeBellis' pre-calc class, and I'm here to explain you the Euler's method. So the Euler's method was created in order to solve the differential equations, but it actually doesn't exactly give you the complete correct answer, but it can get you very close to the correct answer. For example, if you have this equation, the derivative of y over the derivative of x equals y, since, and this would be the slope in this case, and y of 0 equals 1, the solution to these two equations are actually just y equals x, y equals e to the power of x, but like in this graph, but since we're using the Euler's method today, we won't be seeing the graph that I draw next being exactly equal to this graph over here. In order to use the Euler's method to actually solve this differential equation, you actually need to find a distance first. By distance, I mean the h value in this equation, which I'll explain later. And for today's purpose, I will use this, the distance of 1 to try to solve this equation. Now let's find the coordinates. Since we already know that when x is 0, y is 1, we'll start with the next number. When x is 1, because you do um, the previous um, value of x plus the number you're using, which is 1, so 0 plus 1 equals 1, y will become the previous number of y, which is 1, plus h, which is 1, times the slope of the uh, previous value, which since um, uh, the slope is just y in this case, it will just become 1. So 1 plus 1 times 1 equals 2, so y would become 2. And just like what I said, so now the slope would be equal to y, so this um, Derivative of y over the derivative of x would now equal 2. Now let's plot the graph. So z uh, when x is 0, y equals 1, so that's our first point. And from this, we found out that when x is 1, y equals 2, so we put it here. And now, um, you know, the slope from um, this equation now became 2, so we use this to get the next point which means when x equals 2, because that's the previous answer of 1 plus h, which is 1, and what, uh, y, uh, y would equal the previous number of y, which is 2, plus h, which is uh, the number we chose, so 1 times the slope, which is y, which is 2. So 2 plus 1 times 2 equals 4, so y would equal 4. And since the slope just equals y in this case, the derivative of y over the derivative of x would become 4 again. The slope would be 4. Now let's plot this on the graph. So when x is 2, y would equal 4. So we would put the point here. And let's do one more. So the next point would be x equals 3, uh, which would make y 4 plus 1 times the slope, which is 4, would be... 4 plus 4, which is 8. So now, the slope also turns into 8. And that would be our next point. So when x equals 3, y equals 8. Now that we have all these points, we can connect the graph. And as you can see, the new graph we created using the uh, Euler's method is not equal to the actual answer but it can get closer the smaller the number you choose for h so if you say you chose the number of 0 0.1 to be your distance for h then you'll get a more accurate um, point and more points that will be closer to the actual graph and why is this related to Katherine Johnson it's because it's the same principles that are applied to gravity the closer you get to an object the stronger the gravity becomes Say this was uh, this was the rocket ship going um, out of the Earth's atmosphere. Gravity uh, having effect on it will change constantly, so it will be almost impossible for us to exactly calculate where the where rockets would be. However, using the Euler's method, we are able to approximate where it would be, and by using much smaller numbers than one like we use today, we can uh, get the location of the rockets. And using this method, uh, Katherine Johnson was able to aid in the Apollo 11 missions and many other missions um, in NASA.